Leaders of CPIM and Congress in Tripura have dismissed the exit polls conducted by various pollsters' agencies, stating that BJP will struggle to secure a majority. Congress MLA and invitee member of the Congress Working Committee, Sudip Roy Barman, criticized the exit polls, suggesting that the data was fabricated to favor the ruling party and undermine the morale of INDI bloc supporters. He expressed confidence that the actual election results would contradict the exit polls. Barman also voiced his disappointment with the Election Commission of India, accusing it of failing to maintain impartiality. He called for adequate measures to prevent any violence on the counting day. The exit polls are completely concocted and fabricated uh, with a motive of, uh, to serve the political interest of the party in power. These are far away from the truth. I'll just give two, three examples and where you can, where the people can well understand. In Haryana, there are 10 seats. What has been projected in Z News and in Aztec? That BGP is going to get six, in between 16 to 18 seats, whereas there are only 10 seats. In Bihar, they projected LGP, uh, that LGP is winning 4 to 6 seats, whereas the LGP is contesting in, in only 5 seats. In Tamil Nadu, they have projected Congress is going to get in between 13 to 16 seats, whereas Congress is contesting only 9 seats. This shows that the, the people who have manufactured all these data, they are not well acquainted uh, with the reality. The reality is that India is going to form the government, is going to give the public mandate, and these, uh, these are just an eyewash just to uh, jolt the morale of the uh, India bloc uh, counting agents and leaders. And I believe on 4th, when the counting will take, take place, you will just see the reverse of what has been projected in various TV channels in the name of exit polls. I am very much optimistic that India bloc is going to form the government with a handsome majority. You know, from day one, you have all witness. It's not the political party, the people, that's the common citizen. <coughs> they have all witnessed that the election commission is not at all fair in their dealing with political parties. So much of hate speech has been delivered by the prime minister. Just to divide the society in the name of religion, caste, community, creed. But have you ever seen a, even a Shoko's notice being served to the Prime Minister? Is he above the law? Is the Prime Minister above the law? So what does it speak? It speaks that the Election Commission with a partial motive is trying to aid and abet the party in power. Lest it would ought to have acted in the manner it, in which it the specifications are being laid down clearly in various guidelines. But it has not acted. Obviously, there was not a level playing ground. But in spite of all the odds, in spite of complete favorism toward the party in power, the people will be teaching the election commission, the BGP, a befitting lesson in these elections. Sudeep Roy Barman, leader of opposition Jitendra Choudhury, echoed Barman's sentiments, noting the absence of a Modi wave this election cycle. Choudhury urged the ECI to ensure the safety of counting agents, citing previous incidents where agents were assaulted. Last year, our counting agents faced violence at various locations, he stated. He further stated that he hopes that the ECI will prevent such incidents this time. Indeed. That is what the number they have predicted. Itself, there is a flaw. If we compare with the 2019 result and this exit poll, 2019 there was a flow, there was a wave. The Puloma, then the surgical strike, etc., etc. Entire country, entire populace was almost hypnotized by the ruling dispensation. But this time, even the ardent supporter of the ruling party, BJP, they also would not claim that there is, there was any 
such way. Rather this time, I would say, the India Alliance, though not from the beginning, but at the end of the game, that is the campaign, they are in a position to set a, what to say, uh, there is a, what will say, a trend there that on the issues on the based on the issues of the people unemployment then price rise then inflation etc etc and this has become the debate it has become the trend of the campaign the and prime minister started with Apkiva Sassoba 370 alone for the BJP but ultimately that they failed to follow the track and if we uh, simply analyze the Prime Minister's speech there after the second phase of election or third phase of election Modi's the speech has dominated with the Martin, Mughal, Bhais, like that. And they are the Apkiva, Tashopar, or Modi Garanti, etc. Whatever they are promising, it was lost, it was delayed.